Satellite can tell you a lot about what's going on with the atmosphere. Loop we're going to take a look at today. Well, let's just put it this way. You're going to learn a lot from this one because there is a lot going on on this loop that I hope is going to be very instrumental to a lot of your forecasting. Okay, so this loop has so much going on in it. Like, I'm taking a look at it right now and I'm seeing just so much to break down. So let's get to it. I'm going to pause it right here toward the end because, oh no, I let it go one more. We're going to pause it right here toward the end. And so I want to break this down. I want to take a look at a few things we're seeing in this. So the first thing I want to point out is that you are constantly seeing billowing clouds out here. There's some out here. You see actually what looks like some storm attempts all the way down here at the bottom. Uh, this looks pretty agitated. And then also you see over here, you see a bunch of clouds, low clouds. Uh, so what's going on in this environment? Well, we can actually figure out some things just by looking at satellite, okay? Let's, hope, let's see what we can find here together. Well, first thing you're gonna see, uh, see this, these billows right here? See how they are just like th those billows? Those are indications of stable capped air. Now, why would that be capped and stable? Well, because of all this right here. This, this stratus you see, it's been hanging on through the whole day. We're mid late afternoon. This is cool, stable air all the way through here. Right here, it's cool and stable. Cool and stable, you don't want it. Uh, now, let's take a look at some things out here to the west. The first thing I'm noticing, uh, see that and see that? That's the, that's the storm shadow. That's the shadow of the storm in connection with the updraft. The sun's getting a little lower, to be sure. But what you're seeing is because of that separation, you know these towers out here to the west are very high based. They're not anywhere close to surface base. So you know this environment, despite, I mean, it has a lot of cumulus developing along it, but none of it seems deep, none of it seems sustained, and it's all very high based. Good sign that since you're later in the day, it's going to be harder to get a storm without some upper level lift arriving suddenly. Uh, you are seeing a little bit more agitation down here though. Uh, and you can see right here, that last one I drew, let me circle it actually, because that's gonna be a little easier. That's an orphan anvil. You can see kind of a few through here uh, as you go forward. But what you're seeing in all this, this is a little bit more agitated too, but you're not seeing any deep sustained convective attempts basically to the north of this line. So whatever's going on is not good. This environment is not looking like it's prime time. It's not looking like we're right at storm time. It actually looks like we may be busting today because this is about four or five o'clock. We're in late April for this loop and you're seeing a lot, this is right getting right to sunset and there are no storms forming to the north. It's not good. Uh, and. Uh, for me, this would be time to start hitting the panic button because let's take a look at this loop one more time uh, and I'll point some things out in motion. It almost looks like these clouds are rolling and that's because the atmosphere is kind of rolling. These storms grow and then die. As they grow in that dry line zone, they move east and die. That's what's happening here with these storms through here. You see a storm actually try to form right here as these high clouds arrive right here, it tries to form and then it goes away, it dies. So what we see is probably a lot of capping because this air is very dry right here. These towers are getting a lot of drier entrainment. They're really suffering. And you see this uh, stratus is moving, you know, to the east. This, uh, this air right here is destabilizing because you see you go from billows to not. So you're seeing signs that this atmosphere is trying to destabilize, but it may be too little, too late. Here's what the result was for this day. The result, you guessed it. Looked like a cat bust, is a cat bust. You can tell these things. You can tell it via how the storms look, like how these clouds look via satellite, especially if you understand how storms form, behave, etc. like on the dry line. Got a great dry line video right there. Be sure to check out the rest of this series. So much more to learn. Remember, weather's for everybody. We'll see you next time.